Hello and welcome, you're watching the GB Times Third Angle Insight. I'm Andrew Jones. Amid maritime disputes, disagreement on the Syria crisis, the Iranian nuclear threat, and trade issues, US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton visited China for talks and was met with a hostile reception. On Wednesday, Mrs. Clinton arrived in Beijing as part of her 10-day tour of the Asia-Pacific region, but the very nature of her visits was immediately put in the spotlight by Chinese media and netizens. She was met warmly by Yang Jiechi, China's foreign minister, before meeting with President Hu Jintao. Xi Jinping, the man widely believed to be replacing Hu, cancelled his meeting. But People's Daily, the official newspaper of China's ruling Communist Party, suggested that the tour was part of United States efforts to gain leverage from China's tensions with Japan and Southeast Asian countries. And on a more personal level, the Global Times, an often nationalistic and frequently quoted Beijing tabloid, wrote that Hillary reinforces US-China mistrust. We hope Clinton can reflect on the deep harm she is bringing to Sino-US relations, and in the last few months before she leaves office, try to make up for it, the article concluded. Prior to Clinton's tour, the New York Times reported that she would be trying to ease relations with China at a time when tensions are rising. We have an important contribution and stakes in the region's success to advance your security, your opportunity and your prosperity, she told leaders on Friday at the Pacific Island Forum. I think, after all, the Pacific is big enough for all of us, she said. CRI correspondent John Artman told GB Times that this was unlikely from the outset. Well, certainly it's, 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 kind of, it's kind of the usual stuff. I mean, like if you look at the, uh, the official media, it's, it's still quite, quite strident uh, talking about, yes, you know, uh, even, though, even though Hillary has come, that doesn't mean that uh, it's going to change. It's going to change very much. Um, there's, still, there's still a bit of, um, still quite, quite a bit of tension. Uh, and, and also the Western coverage of the visit, you know, it's it, it kind of feigning surprise about how there, nothing was really agreed on. Uh, which I think, you know, it's, 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 it's very, very difficult, I think, these days for the U.S. And, and China to agree on much. Chinese netizens had stronger views on the tour. Too great a hope has been placed on U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's visit to China. The United States is not China's savior, but a troublemaking country. It has never let China settle to be a leading part of any games. Another said this so-called Kong Zhong Fei Ren, meaning she flies around doing what she pleases, has left the impression on Chinese netizens that she is not the messenger of peace, but a hatred-sowing witch. Clinton and her Chinese hosts again struggled to find common ground and, poignantly, were yet again unable to agree on the issue of Syria. Further, while some Asia-Pacific nations may welcome the presence of the US in the region as China grows, in the short term this has done nothing for relations in the region, with Sino-Japanese tensions also being exacerbated by the US using the Japanese name for a disputed chain of islands. Just a very brief look at Clinton's visit serves to remind us that the next leaders of both China and the United States, to be decided in the autumn, will have some serious work to do. As it stands, stances on serious issues and general mistrust present a threat to relations between the world's two largest economies and, by implication, the rest of the globe. Well, that's it for us today, but we'd like to hear your thoughts on China-US relations. To get involved in the discussion, send your views to feedback at gbtimes.com or you can leave them on our website at www.gbtimes.com.